Welcome back for another weekly oracle reading. This week we're going to be doing a reading for Monday, April 12th through Sunday, April 18th. And for those of you who may not know, yesterday, April 11th, was a new moon, meaning we have a dark sky. It is a wonderful time to manifest and to set our intentions. And keep in mind, this new moon is in Aries, so that manifesting, that energy to start, begin something new, is really high and potent. So definitely use the energy you may be feeling, especially if you're motivated and you're ready to go, come up with a game plan, strategize, let's get things going. Okay, we could do anything that we want. We just need to take steps in order to make things happen. So if you're looking for a new moon ritual for you to follow, if you guys check up top, this is a link to the new moon ritual that I posted on Friday. You're still able to do this ritual until about Wednesday. You could do a ritual three days before or after a new or full moon and still work with that moon energy. So you still got time, don't you worry. Today I thought we could use the Miracles Now deck just to see what type of guidance and inspiration the universe wants to give us for this upcoming week. Like as I said, it is a new moon. We are starting a new lunar cycle. We might be feeling motivated. We might also be feeling like we just need to rest. So let's see what type of guidance we receive for this week and what are some things that we should remember throughout the week. For Monday, we received the reminder, the key to getting what I want is to ask for it. I feel like this card is right on the money with the fact that the new moon was on Sunday and we have to be specific when we ask the universe for what it is that we want. Also side note, it was on Sunday in Eastern Standard Time. If you're in a different time zone, it might have been on Monday, the new moon, but anyway, when it comes to getting what we want and manifesting, like we have to be clear, we have to be specific, we have to give the universe the exact details of what it is that we are asking for. It really is about us feeling it, as feeling as if we have it, getting into that feeling state, visualizing. So one of the things I love, and I, I kinda wanna clarify this a bit because I feel like sometimes we can look negatively on our struggles or the things that we experience, but every single experience we're having, it's teaching us what we like and what we don't like. And so when I was younger, I would always think, well, I know all the career choices that I don't want to do because of the things that I experienced, right? So if you can look at it that way of like, okay, you know what you don't want, it's helping you to become clearer on what you do want in every single experience that you're having is helping you to get closer and closer and just really fine tune this picture that you have. So allow yourself to enjoy this journey, but get clear on what it is that you want and ask for it. And the other thing about this is ask for the support. Ask the universe to show you, ask it to bring it to you, ask for help, okay? You're not doing this alone. For Tuesday, we received, my presence is my power. One of the things I know that happens for a lot of us is that we get too caught up in the future and we start thinking about the past and we're not necessarily in the present moment. And we may not even be fully aware of our energy and our mind. And this card is totally reminding us, like your presence, your being, you being fully there, you stepping in and you know owning your inner self and your authentic self, like that's your power. That really is your power. And just allowing yourself to be as present as possible is going to help you dive into your power even more. So my favorite technique when it comes to becoming present is looking around at colors. So if I notice that my mind is really in the future or it's really in the past, I'll sit and I'll look around and I'll be like, okay, this cushion, it's red. It reminds me of a red apple. And oh yeah, it also looks similar to a red crayon. And it brings me here. I'm in the present moment. I'm thinking about this red cushion. I'm describing it. I'm focusing on it. So if you find yourself going all over the place, that's one technique. Being in the present moment, living in the here and now, your power is strongest then. And that is a beautiful gift to give yourself to learn how to live in the present. For Wednesday, we received, I release my need to be perfect and I center into my commitment to serve the world more love. Perfection 
is so not real. And this is coming from somebody who has really had a hard time accepting that in life. People will relate to you more when they're able to see a little piece of themselves in you. So sharing your story and sharing the faults and the struggles is just going to help you become 10 times more relatable. On Wednesday, focus on coming from a place of love. Focus on bringing more love to the world. Focus on being kind and generous and sharing and connecting and just enjoying this human experience and, and helping each other. For Thursday, we received, by spreading loving energy, I attract more love. This is that continuation of that energy from Wednesday. Spread love, spread loving energy, give a compliment, do something kind for somebody just because you want to and you're not looking for a praise. Don't tell somebody that you did something kind, just do it. Just do something and spread the love and just know that the more you are giving love out, the more love is going to be coming back towards you. And it may come back in a different form, you never know, but what you give out comes back. Like that's for real, like it's an exchange. We're having an energy exchange. For Friday, we are reminded that sometimes no is the most loving response. And I know we've talked about this before in other Oracle card readings, but Boundaries are so crucial because not everybody deserves all of you, right? Not everybody is capable of receiving that. Yes, you can give love to everyone, but having your boundaries, recognizing when you are overexerting yourself, recognizing when you really do need to say no. And so on Friday, we are being reminded to not feel guilty when we have to say no to something, to an event, to a family outing, to, a, to taking on more work, to doing something that we know is not in our best interest. No doesn't have to be harsh and you can say no with a smile on your face. You can say no in a very loving way. It doesn't have to be like nasty and negative and just like, no, it, it doesn't. It can be something different and it can be very loving. So on Friday, I challenge you to figure out how to say no in a loving way at the times that you need to. For Saturday, we received, my happiness can be measured by the level of my faith and love. I feel like the energy of love is just such a beautiful energy that when we are living in it and when we tap into it, our happiness just naturally rises. It, we just naturally feel good. Like if you think about a moment when you were experiencing a loving relationship or when you were first interested in somebody and like how you were and how those butterflies felt and that, that love. And so on Saturday, we're just being reminded that the more faith that we have in love and the more faith we have in love for humanity and for each other and for the world and us giving back to the world, the happier you are going to feel. The thing about this card that it's also reminding me of is that sometimes we get really caught up in fear. We get really caught up in the worries and everything that could go wrong and all the things that are going wrong. And instead, if we could get caught up in the love, everything that's going right, other things that we can do to help things feel like they're going right, other things that we could do that we believe in that is us spreading love. Memories of great times and great experiences and memories of like us sharing and spreading love to each other. Like the more we can focus on those things, of course our happiness level is going to rise because a love is a higher vibration. Fear is very easy and it just kind of spirals us down. So on Saturday, think about a few things that really remind you of true love and helps you reconnect into this love. And of course, you can do something that will help spread more love or give you more faith in love. For Sunday, we received, I don't dance around the perimeter of the person I want to be. I step in fully and completely. This is our reminder. This is our encouragement that it is time now. And that's why like with the new moon and this week, like for real, get clear on who you want to be. Get clear on the beliefs, the actions, the career, the relationship, the home life, all of the things. Get 
clear on what you want and allow yourself to actually be authentic and honest with yourself and allow that authenticity and honesty to radiate out to the world and start with the relationships that you have. There's no need for us to dance around anymore, okay? People are gonna like us because they're gonna like us. And if they don't, then that's fine. We're not their cup of tea. Relationships may not be here for our whole lifetime. And that is okay. The more we can accept that we're going to grow and change, the more we can continue to be the person that we want to be like you have that power I am so passionate about this I don't think you guys understand like stepping fully and completely into the person that you want to be is the best thing that you can do for yourself for your family for your friends for the world the world literally needs you to be your truest self regardless of any fears you have about society or your family or friends or work people or whoever accepting you if somebody's not accepting you that is their loss and it's okay because also when we lose people from our life a door opens and it means that other amazing people are capable of coming into our life now i feel like this week is a really powerful week to continue on our connection in with the moon energy and focusing in on what it is that we're looking to manifest and really focusing our energy on connecting to love allowing ourselves to connect to love as much as possible and staying in that mindset of love rather than going into that mindset of fear because fear is going to bring us the things that we don't want right so doing the work doing the mindset work of working to make sure that we are staying in the present moment and focusing on thoughts that serve us and doing our best to be the person that we want to be and to bring more kindness and love into this world and treat each other with kindness and love and respect. But this week itself, it is really powerful for you to continue to work with the moon, to write your intentions, to take a bath, if you guys ever want, I do have moon ritual bath salts on my website. So I'll post that link below in case if you ever want to use them, they will just help you relax and just help you unwind during the new moon or the full moon. So like I said before, if you are interested in doing a new moon ritual, you guys can click the link below or a link on the screen and do the new moon ritual that I had hosted on Zoom with you guys on Friday. And if you found this week's reading helpful, then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. I truly hope that it helps you. I hope it gives you some clarity and some things to focus on this week and just gets you a little bit motivated and inspired. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.